out to her out there. I can't see the first name. I have to move the whole... Ooh, I hate doing this, but uh, let's see. Oh, it's Gina Brown. What's up, Miss Gina? Wait, what you know about... Ah, uh, come on now. Oh, wow. So, wow, Gina Brown watched me. Go ahead. I'm doing something right. When the babies watch me. All right, family, last night was the premiere. Was the premiere of... The show that I did with Brother Reverend Shock and Professor Kaba Hiawatha Kamene, man. I've been hyped up. I've been, you know, sometimes you get real high on the energy and then you just, I just had to sleep. I had to, I had to be sleeping and, you know, getting ready, getting hyped because I didn't know how the interview was going to necessarily go. I was happy. You know what I'm saying? We already got 1,400, um, 1,044 views in 15 hours. I think that's pretty good. We got comments popping off. Um, and, you know, 
I'm gonna go through some of these comments and we can talk about some of these comments as we read them, right? So, uh, man, come on, fam. We're about to do it. I want you to make sure that you're able to check it out. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna click. I'm gonna copy. I'm gonna move, and I'm going to post it up so that you can watch it for yourself and help us build up the numbers. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm trying to get it up out there, family. Also, remember. Remember, check out our free e-course, free, free, G-N-J, e-course, dot com. Now, some of this stuff, it won't post up on my, my YouTube, um, but those out there listening in Spreaker land, let me go and hit y'all up, too. I know y'all know be like, man, why you don't be putting the links on here? Actually, let me do that. Let me go on the range just so I can put the links on there for y'all to see. I could, I could do that. I could do that. I could do that. I'm, I'm smart enough to be able to do something like that. Let's see. Um, Spreaker. Um, like I said, and if anybody got any questions about the interview last night, Anybody got any questions about the interview last night, I am willing and happy to have that discussion with y'all today. You have any questions about Giami Journey, you have any questions about the e-course, by all means, I'm willing to discuss that as well. Because like the whole point is to start raising the consciousness and start doing the building rather than just the, the, the talking. Now, here here in Columbus, and you know, Giami and, and, and the other families that's, that's doing stuff. It ain't just talking going on. We out here, we out here doing the work. Um, and like I said, the only thing I want to be able to do is to motivate people to be able to do the work. Um, let me put free. G and J. I, I don't push it. Oh, Gina. Oh, there you go. Once again. Don't, don't. Free G and J Media. Free G and J E course. You pushing down the stopper so I can't get it out. Free G and J E course dot com. If you don't know what you did, then why you do it in the first place? Ooh. Ooh. That was cold. If you don't know what you was doing, why did you do it in the first place? Ooh, no response. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, so that's the free G&J course. The uh, first one is the video from last night. And family, I am, I am really, really hyped about it. I was, uh, I was, I was actually, you know, I was glad that it went down. I was glad that it, you know, I was actually glad because I was, I was real nervous when it was popping off, you know. But we make it through. That's what we do. That's what we do. Let me make sure this is the right one. Okay, cool. So let me go and make these adjustments. I thought I had to be somewhere, so um, I decided to sleep in. And y'all see where that got me. Right? Y'all see where that got me. Got us up here to 12 noon. So I know a lot of people probably will catch this on the rebroadcast when I'm done. But like I said, I am willing to open up the lines for anyone that want to have some conversation about whatever y'all want to talk about. Especially, especially those that want to talk about the show last night. And if you got some questions or whatever, if you knew, you want to know some stuff. And also, I have to put some videos together because I'm put a video together specifically. I'm put an e-course together specifically for the Daily Toes. We're gonna do that. We're gonna do that. We're gonna put it together and uh, send it out. You know what we got to lose. Nothing, brother. Nothing to lose. Nothing at all. But hold on. Let's see. Um, I want to make sure that I'm sharing this on all my platforms before we get down into the toast. Settings. We're going to post on Nguza Saba Challenge. Folk Tales for Grown Folks. Giami Energy, I still haven't had the heart to take that down. And the Magic Hour, well, we, we don't need to post it up on the Magic Hour. Well, I got the Magic Hour, so why the hell not? 
Boom. These are all, all shows or all shows that I had at one point in time that I had developed. I just decided because part of the issue was like one of the things that I, uh, that I had noticed a long time ago because uh, uh, Reverend Shock wasn't the first one to tell me that I was doing too much. My daughter Yolanda told me a long time ago, you doing too much. You're doing too much. And one of the things I decided to do was if I was going to do all that stuff, I was going to put it all on one platform. So I'm trying to get everything that I can, possibly can, up under um, Giami Journey. You know what I'm saying? So I keep everything focused and then also make sure that I'm pushing out the stuff that I need to push out um, to let the people know what's popping off with us here at Giami Journey. Let me see. All right. So, we got everything up. Oh, I don't have my hoot suite up. Let's put the hoot suite up. And also, I need to do, I'm going to have to do at one of our uh, malls, I think I'm going to do uh, a social media presentation on how to, you know, at least the level that I'm that I'm able to get to to help people to learn how to use this because there's a lot of stuff that we could be doing as a small group to really make large changes. It's just a matter of us learning how to use what we have. Um trying to make sure if there's any other things that's popping up that I need to talk about as far as the news. Let me go to my news link real quick as well. Because, you know, it's it's Toast and Talk Imani, you know, and I could Toast and Talk with the best of them. Hmm, so while we waiting for that... <sighs> Get your uh, get your subjects together. Um, I need to announce the next mall. Next mall will be we got to start preparing. The next mall will be the twenty eighth. September 28th, our capping trip will take place on the 20th. Um, man, so we got a lot of stuff popping off, family. Um, and on the 5th, the 4th and the 5th will be the ADOS conference. I'm looking forward to all of this stuff coming up. It is going to be busy all the way up. All right, so let's go and get busy. Mm. They were once America's cruelest, richest slave traders. Why does no one know their name? The Washington Post. Bernie Sanders bashes Joe Biden, embraces Trump supporters during the Nevada campaign stop. Mm. Yang weighs into backlash over new SNL cast member bigoted comments. Damn, ex-NFL star Charles was destroying his own restaurant after claiming hate crime. Hmm. Alright, we got some stuff in the news. Not a lot of stuff that would be interesting. Let me check mine. Because, you know, I got a, uh, you know you can set this up where they give you your stuff for you. I want for me. I don't want the top stories. I want what's for me. Alright, so here we go. First, giving honor to the creator by whatever name you choose, call that creator. We lift up our glass and we salute that creator and we say, Ashe. Thank you, Sasha From there, we move on to our list of our illustrious ancestors. Move on. 
We have Miles Brown, Ms. Ann, Robert the Tech, Seven Davis, Herman Brown, Senior, Rosalie Tilly, Georgia, William Walter, Chris Fennigas, and Annalena, Uncle Chris, I'm Fiend, Cleveland, and Geneva Brown, Marco Ellis, Watch Ellis, Cecil Ellis, Abar Brown, Gina Gaines, Herman Brown the Second, Barbara Twiggs, Watch Ellis Jr., Katie Ellis, Nikki Ellis, Jamani, Jamon Jones, Jeremiah Tappan, John Fillard, Montague Pimenel, No More X, Pat Ma, Rob, Malika, Malika Fakur, Dr. Marianne Williams, Kojo Kamal, Elder Millie Dixon, Tony Clark, Pastor Yusuf Weston, Elder Ajani, Elder Ron Coleman, Elder Robert Donaldson, Alfred Brofro, Actor Jr., Jay Edwards, Carla Harris, Grace Lundy, Inez Harris, William Bill Moss, Phyllis Rose, Sterling and Lucy Wright, Derek L. Pulling, the Luxor Brother, Miss Edith Brooks Crawley, Miss Marie Nelson, Mr. Frederick Crawley Sr., Miss Jerry Brunson, Mr. Alonzo Johnson, Miss Marie McDowell, Janice Foster, Charles Jordan, Kill Smith, Walter Smith, Richard Triggs, Francis Johnson, Mary Franklin, Jimmy Williams, Daniel Ford, George Gibson, Nana Loretta Clark, Inez McCray, Fritz Clark, Frankie Justice, Katie Justice, Derek Renneman, Virginia Rogers, Reverend Jane Smith, Lois Henderson, Kevin Spratling, Mary Elizabeth Walker, Raymond Walker Sr., Sarah Jane Carter, Michael Ford Jr., Kellen D. Russell, Susie B. Smith, Teresa Clay, Mel Dale Hodge, Mel Dale Hodge Jr., Herman Copeland, Mildred Copeland, Jenny Clay, Bird Beattie, Sarah Weller, Vita Farmer, I go so soon, Cheryl Harvey, Aunt Charmaine, Aunt Evelyn, Dolores Hasbury, Harvey Hasbury Sr., Leonard Dickinson. T.C. Islam, T.C. Islam, Terrell Dunbar, Will Thomas, Sarah Barry, Mark Walsh, Merle B. Thorne, Pearl G. Thorne, Ida Johnson, Florence M. Carter, Joanne Thorne, Eric Tristan Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Eliza, Frederick Davis, hey, uh, Sasha, can you close this basement door for me? Joanne Thorne, Eric Tristan Lewis, Juanita Wright, Robert Wright, George Wright, Mary, Eliza, Frederick Davis, May Elizabeth Rogers, May Esther Keechler Reese, Linda Watson Hammonds, Jarrell Giles Watson, Sparrow, Slimmy Selwyn Lewis, Andrew Hall, Pearl Moore, Percy Moore Jr., Mildred Owens, Booker T. Bowden, Charlie Hunt, Sammy Stover, Hilda Pearson, Sturgeon Thornton, Richard Thornton, Lavinia Hall, Freeman Bankston, May Moss, Sophia Peacock, Willie Thornton, Napoleon Kenty, Mark Ramsey, Paul Ramsey, Matt Ramsey, David Ramsey, Charles E. Thornton, Frankie Quells, Urania Thornton, Bernice Quells, Ernestine Jackson, Frankie Johnson, Teresa Mormon, Leon Johnson, Charles Bell, Vivian Ramsey, S.E. Johnson, Dorita Johnson, Leon Johnson, James W. West Sr., James Parham, Dana Jones, Henry World, James Farmer, Mary Chavez, Leon Grace, Bessie Johnson, Hattie LaVesta, Mary Moreland, Paul Moreland, Elder Caleb, Rosemary Martineer, Elder Armitet Wellman, Fred Douglas Triggs Sr., Thelma Triggs, Thomas and Lula Berry, Lacey Ellen Ohio, Frank Russell and Davis, Fred Douglas Triggs II, Vina Triggs, Reverend Eddie Moore, Helen Fuller, Eugene Jackson Sr., Richard Ellis, Silas Alexander, Charles Maxwell, Percy Man Alexander, Arthur Reynolds, Stanley Lockhart, Ricky Lockhart, William Lockhart, Woodrow Lockhart, Brenda Porter, Deacon Hargrove, Carla Sawyer, Andrew Parker, Doris Donald, Ellis Murphy, Tamiko Russell, Didi Mon Aries, Gene and Ruth Jones, Jaina Callahan, William Walter West, Nigel Pears, Elder Besiege Filani, Jim Robinson, Gladys Johnson, Valerie Clark, John and Mary Sullivan, Dirk Johnson, Antonio Johnson, Delise Waters, Defridis Hines, Anis Bostic, Edna Bostic, Wanda Free Scannerberry, Wilson Headley. How did it go out there? It was fine. All right. Yeah, special. Wilson Headley, Emma Hines, Phyllis Lee, Eugene Spratling, Kevin Spratling, Charles Wooden, Penny Brown, Roy Lee Printup Jr., Miriam Johnson, Wolver Longmire, Edith Catney, Janice Carter, Michael Carter, Liam Pina Carter, Margaret Carter, William Carter, Lisa Jordan. Charles Lee Mosley, Dorothy R. Blair, Ransom Evans Sr., Sam Evans Sr., Nalon Blair Sr., Edward Stevens, Sue Ann Stevens, Joe Davis, Timothy Butler, Gene Holmes, Dana Jones, Peter Charles, Christy Nichols, Carla Robinson, Rosemary Charles, Ada Pearl, Bob Ingalls, Jack Wallace, Warren M. Finch, Warren P. Finch, Tim Ingalls, Audrey Finch, William Billingsley Jr., Jennifer Sensabaugh, Hazel Gasson, Jerry Brantley, Brian Watson Jr., Kenneko Parsons, Jason Cathy, Bradford, Thomas Bradley, also known as Uncle Buki, also known as Jeps, Gypsy, Reverend Roosevelt Word I, Stacey Trice, Frank Smith, Mother Bertha, Michael Leonard, David Brown, Ru Carter, June Cox. Ladies, y'all need to uh y'all need to handle your business. Y'all need to get dressed, brush your teeth, wash your face. We gotta take clean to the barbershop. June Cox, Ruth Cox, Paula Cox, Ronald Irvin, Judy Hubbard, Irene. Johnson, Francis Booth Jefferson, John Wilkinson Sr., Emma McLennan, Jerry Doyle, Mina Robinson, May Nichols, Patricia Williams, Shabaka Ture, Greg G. Two Gibson, Donna Hill, Richard Gleavis, Lee Irby, Tommy Irby, Boy Irby, Jim Gauthier, George and Hallie Johnson, Archie Mark and Armstead, Diane Scott, Erica Armstrong, Claire Fox, Gene Evans, Archie Beck, Adam McGill, Charles McDaniel, Christine Cottrell, Aunt Becca, Alice Arnold, Arthur Arnold, Hattie Reed, Charles Reed, Eula and Andrew Baker, Patricia and Edwin Brooks, 
Gwilinen and Bob Hatch, Kimball Vernon, Bradley Kim, Janie Harrington McKay, Spencer Sturgis, Shelly Mae Baker, Ethel Baker, Creole Baker, Geneva Baker, Aaron Nino, Baby Hatch, Hatch Sr., Mally Miller, Housie Hatch, Dad Cleveland, Mother Gibson, Alex Nixon, John Bowie. Yeah, there we go. Make sure. John Bowie, Lester and Rachel Saunders, Dorita Ross, Riola Ross, Robert Nelson, Francis Stevenson, Leroy Stokes, Neely Johnson, Fletcher Swan, Maddie and Charlie Scott, Ida Casey, Thomas Copa, Vivian Vivian, Vivian Stevenson, Mona Ann Lewis, Cornetta Lyman Lewis, John Jackson, William Dallas Lewis, Mary Francis, Chappelle Jackson, Michael Slay, Joanne Perkins, Richard Jackson, Martha Ford Dawson, Big Mama, Nanny Harris, Eva Ford, James Harrison, Margaret Towns, Mary Williams, Leroy Q. Heath Sr., Albert Moore, Miss Vanilla, Alice Motley, Geraldine Elizabeth, Douglas Thompson, Erickson Houston, Lud Alls, Elijah Alls, Jerome Alls, and West Staten, Joe Jamel, Alls, and Ann Pierce, Donald Carter, Lily Green, Nathan Green, Beth Vaughn, John Dewey, Ruth Beer, Tim Butler, Ramey, Laura Newton, J.B. Foggy, Thomas Newton Sr., Barbara Naeem, Jeanette Sanders, Jerry C. Sanders, Roy Pruitt, H.J. Bradley Sr., Henry Wilson, Rufus Jenkins, Minnie Wilson, Catherine Sanders, Miro Ellis, Elizabeth Sanders, Henrietta Irby, Mildred Armstead, Margaret Armstead, Catherine Anthony, Ruby Brown, Charles Walker, Sr., Charlie Walker, Cecil Russell, Diane Urban, Hyrum Phillips, William Ford, Margaret Logan, Phyllis Barnett, Lee Irvin Sr., Michael Irvin, Ozella Watson, Hugo Watson, John Carwell Sr., Robbie Lee Carwell, Nevaeh Mitchell, Ron McCormick Sr., Sabrina Easley, Rayshawn Easley, Javier McCormick, Barbara Ann Reed, Dorothy Ann Reed, John Reed, Shekamaha Reed Jr., John Reed Jr., Patricia Reed, Edward R. Benson Sr., Ethel H. McNair, Louis Fernandez, Jacqueline Broadus, Reginald Oliver, Mazarin Coper, George Swan, Imani Grayson, Charles Scott, Charles H. Scott, Michael Morgan, Charlene Morgan, Sybil Edwards McNabb, Annie Ferguson, William Ferguson, Shelby McClendon. From there, we have Joella Giles, we have James Carswell, we have Liberta Adams, also known as Aunt Sis. We have um, Elder, Elder Shaka. Yep, Elder Shaka McNair. I had it in my mind, but I was scared to say it. We got Anthony Brown. We got Jonathan Ford. We got Lottie Gaucher. We got Cousin Tony, Michael Johnson, James Jimmy Johnson, Barbara Shang Lewis, Ronald Sheldon Jr., Damian Top, Westina Banks. We got Joseph Bingham, Quincy, Mama, Aunt Lady, Abraham Isaac, Isaac Cundiff. We got Aunt Barbara Lewis, Renee Johnson, Joy, Ryan Ross Riggins, Dermonte, Marcus Price, Ness Words, Marshawn McCarroll, Demetrius Beard, Herb Jefferson, Ralph Mickens, Eric Walker, Quasi Sample, Candace, Candace Simmons, Severin Clayton, Leonard Jones, Sade Garner, Melvin Scott Sr., Elder Clarence Lumpkin, Elizabeth Johnson, Frank Smith, Stacey Trice, Denise Goray, Nathaniel Hassan Turner, Khaled is in transition, Nigel Turner. We got Demetrius Lewis Flint, Alberta Woods, Geneva Simmons, Daniel Tilly, Angeline Gant, Sharifa, Oscar Kane, Archie Gripper, Dominique Nichols, Ruth Elaine Johnson, Teresa Sambu, Aunt Maxine, Uncle James, Henry Monger III, Tamara Dowdy, Nicole Harris, Julia Taylor, Ra Ronald, no, Richard Bozeman II, Ruth Carter, John Carter, Mr. Thornton, Joanna, Deshandra Lynette Lewis, Henderson Mosley, Charles Jordan, Henry Essex II, Fanny L. Webb, Dan Walton, Al Lau T. Sue Walton, Emma Walton, James, Randolph Giles, Sonny, Pete Walton, William Walton, Fred Powers, Elijah Juan, Hakeem and Como, Alberta T. Davis, Charles Davis, Willie R. Mackey, Dr. Karimi Mackey, Victor Bowden, Trusilla Kitty Berger, Lucy White, Robert Lee White, Emma Jean White, Towton, Roger White, R.L. White, R.L. White, Jesse White, Ruby Jewel, Johnson Carl, um, Ruby, um, Ruby Jewel White, Johnson Carl White, Desi Woods, Tellar Woods, Lennox, Jim Woods, Lizzie Woods, Juanita, Alexander Brown, and Cynthia Ann Wright. We lift up our glass and we salute all of our ancestors and we say, I say. From there, family, we move to the present moment. Hold on. I'm opening up the phone lines because we almost done. So, saluting this moment, we raise our glass, and we salute this moment. I want to give all of the Imani babies a round of applause. Here we go. 
first participant on the super conference. Please hold while we wait for the others to join. That's right, that's right. All you Imani babies. So today, we are opening up the reticular formation. And we are out seeking Imani. Every day we got to look for our principles. Every day we got to look for our principles because they're out there. They're out there they're waiting for us to find them, right? Just like our ancestors were waiting for us to toast them, right? So, um, Imani. Um, Imani, for those that don't speak the language, means faith. Today is the day of Imani. Today is um, Imani. Harmony is the mighty principle today. Trust is what we teach the young people in 7. The color for the day is red. Gender. Gender is... Um, the Hermetic Law, male name for the day is Quasi, that's Klee, we also got Quasi Low, and female name is Aku, Akusua, right, Akosua, my fault. So, we raise our glass to this present moment, knowing that in this moment lies all of our power, and we have the ability and the will to move it, then we can change the world, family, so let's, in this moment, let's, let's lift up. And salute the power of the moment and use it to remember our ancestors and to lay the uh, lay a foundation, lay legacy for our future generations. And we say, I say, from their family, we move to our children, our children's children, on to infinity. We raise up our glass, and guess what we say? Damn right. I say, I say, family, and we say, um, and from there, we move on to all of our relations, and we say, I say, from all of our relations, where do we go, family? From all of our relations, from all of our relations, we head directly to the selfish those. Oh, man. Oh, man. Right? A lot of us out here doing the work, but we're not saluting ourselves. Family, take this moment to salute yourself. Take this moment to think about what it is that you need in this moment to move towards your higher and your better self. And we say, I say. From there, family, last but not least. Last but not least. Last and definitely not least. I want to toast the most magnificent. The most marvelous. The most beautiful. The most outstanding. The most missing. My thing is missing. My kids have sabotaged me. Oh, my God. So, family, I salute you. I toast you. And we say, I say. I say. I say. Family, I wish you peace, power, joy. In 100 years, we can start the conversation. There's somebody there now, we're going to talk a little bit. Hot damn. I think it's the court. Mm. I done stumbled on the something, family. I done stumbled on the something. All right. So, once again, last night, I was on the show. I was on the Philip Shock Matthew show. Got yeah, 35,000 subscribers. The title of the show was Introducing Brother Hatim. Brother Hatim Giame with Shock, Reverend Shock, and Professor Kaba Hiawatha Kamene. I don't know who would be calling me on his phone. That's ridiculous. Hopefully, they ain't knocked me off. Am I knocked off? Am I knocked off? Did they knock me off? Please, please, no. Don't let them have knocked me off. Don't let the haters have come in and just totally destroy it. Because nobody got this number. This this phone is specifically, specifically for doing what it's doing right now. That's how serious we take our craft here. So, master your craft, family. Master your craft. All right. So, for those that might come in later, this got a nice little tart taste to it and everything. I think it's the core. I really think it's the cork. All right. So on here, like last night, we had a bunch. We had a bunch of comments. I want to. But the live comments, I don't. I guess they don't show up. So I want to talk about some of the comments we got right here. Um, only if I could do a hundred thumbs up, even better. This is from uh, Jazz Marcel. Thank you, sir. Uh, only if I could do a hundred thumbs up, even better. I will apply some of the ideas of Brother High Tim. Awesome, awesome show, and it's always a gift to hear you and Bro Kaba. 
Shouts out to your Jazz Marcel. Thank you. Um, from Diana. I think that's our Diana. Thank you for sharing knowledge. To add a point, American contribution also comes from the Car many Caribbean Africans and Africans who migrated and joined the African Americans, their culture, experience, and ancestors. Now, if you have something to add to the list, you can. Now, I can have some contention on that, right? Because they have joined African Americans. You know what I'm saying? Now, let's say that. But as far as ADOS, right? They don't have that, that claim. But we do have. Because the one piece that I'm really um, working on is one, establishing who we are here in America. And then start establishing those allies. Because family, we got to understand that, you know, many of the people that are working against us look just like us. Some of them in their office. Some, You know what I'm saying? We have to understand. And we have to, in a sense draw our borders you know what i'm saying and there's consequences for crossing those borders i'm just and that's that's all the way real whether whether it's caribbean whether it's west african whether it's east african whether it's european or my fault west asian central asian or east asian you know what i'm saying we we have to establish our borders so that we can know who is with us and who is against us and that's 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 me. I can't speak for nobody else. That's how I feel. Um, we got gold and diamond. Mine, gold, and diamond, mine. 55 minutes ago. Black, Amer Black America is just now shaking off or attempting to the confusion, damage, and the shock. The integration was a con and it set black people back 50 years after already being 350, 450 years behind. Is dire straits and a very dangerous situation. Those who don't educate themselves, raise their consciousness, and raise their awareness are going to be in for a rude awakening. Black people are obsolete to white America. They don't want us here, or anywhere on the earth for that matter. And they will do anything they can do to exterminate the black race, seen and unseen. Oh, Alright, cool. That was all of it. I gold and diamond mine, gold and diamond mine. I don't know why it's repeated twice. Interesting comment. Um, so, yeah, many of us are shaking off a lot of confusion, especially for the last fifty years, because I, I only think I'm thinking that the true confusion really start coming in within my lifetime. Uh, prior to my lifetime, prior to 1968. I'm thinking that we was kind of clear on where we fit in the fabric of America. But somewhere along the lines of my lifetime, I think we really, really started getting confused. And um, we have to be clear that um, white supremacy is trying to eliminate everybody, not just black lives. See, but then also one of the things that you always got to take into account is that their system thrives on being able to have, in a sense, an underclass. A conquered people. You know what I'm saying? We we got to understand that piece there as well. You know what I'm saying? Because capitalism don't work if everybody got the same amount of shit. The system that they have designed does not work unless there's unless there are people at the bottom that can be taken advantage of. Not that that should make you feel any better. Because basically what that means is that we are being set up to be prey all over this world. To be taken advantage of. And in, in many ways, to be economically assassinated, pushed to the bottom. The empire possibly giving them some few pennies so that they could take those too. You know what I'm saying? We keep the, we keep the economy going, I believe. You know what I'm saying? That's just, that's just me. That's just me popping off the top of my head. You know what I'm saying? It's, you know, it's bleak. But it ain't that bleak. You know what I'm saying? Because the possibility, as long as we had draw breath, as long as we are in the moment, this is why I keep on talking about this whole... Um, crystallized wisdom, all right? Everything we're going through, our ancestors have already been through. You know what I'm saying? In, in, in many, many different ways, if we just look at the history, the answers are already laid out for us. All we have to do is be willing to do the research. And you know what I'm saying? Do that, do that wisdom mining to get the information so that we can solve the problem. And we also have the resilience and the creativity to overcome anything that they throw at us. I have no doubt about that. 
you know what I'm saying, we will be victorious, you know, we will be victorious, you know, and you have to tell yourself that, I know, because sometimes, you know, when I'm talking, people, you know, they're like, oh, you're negative, but, you know, I'm coming from a standpoint of, of, uh, of reality, I'm looking at where we at, you know what I'm saying, I'm not one of those who go in to my team during halftime and, 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 and lie to them about you, you, you're not playing, you know, you, you you know what I'm saying? Y'all not working as a team. Y'all fucking up. You know what I'm saying? I believe that reality in the midst of battle is the best remedy. We about to die. We lose it. Right? And I need to feel that. I need to tell you that. But I have no doubt. I have no doubt that in the end, we will win. And hopefully it'll come within my lifetime. And if not, you know, I'm raising some, I'm raising a bunch of young people. You know, y'all could just, y'all just hear about Sasha and Gina and, and, and and clean, but shit, we got children all over this country. You know what I'm saying? That's learning. We got children all throughout the city that's learning every day. Not only are we touching on the on the economics, we also touching on the politics. Not only are we touching on the politics, we touching on some martial arts. Not only we, you know what I'm saying? We we're doing the work, and the challenge is for ev all of us to get out here, to get out here to. To curb this plan that gold and diamond mine, gold and diamond mine says that's out here for us. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, if you lay still, yeah, they're going to get your ass. If you ain't doing that, yeah, they're going to get your ass. You know what I'm saying? So, if they're going to get you where you lay, when laying still, you might as well get up and do something, right? Um, And I kind of share some of those, uh, some of the ideas that I have for dealing with this indirectly we could talk about it a little bit more directly in the free e-course that i um that i developed let's go to the next one we got mavis g bikeman thank you so much for sharing knowledge about libations and the digital dig digitizing of information i am wondering if there is awareness about the consequences for our health especially about the infrastructure of 5g and which is said to be necessary for the implementation of new technology at the point at the other hand there is information that it that it is also a weapon of war there's a lot of information about that on the internet too besides that as shamonka mentioned what about what about security control and safety of all the information now as far as the 5g right now family i'm gonna say this to you right now I know very little about that. I've seen some of the videos and I'm like, hmm, very interesting. But the stuff that they do with 5G, you don't think they're already doing with some of the stuff that we already got? We walk around with cell phones in our pockets. We walk around. We got all types of signals flying through the air. You don't think a lot of the stuff that they could do, that they talk about they could do with 5G, they ain't already got the capabilities to do with the stuff we already have? All of us got Wi-Fi. Most, more than likely, you're using Wi-Fi to type up this comment. Right now, Wi-Fi is flowing through your house right now, right? And that probably could be weaponized too. You, we're dealing with it. We're dealing with a culture of people that any advances that they have made have come from war. Damn near, war, you know, war. You know, so so we have to be very, very. We got to be very clear and very careful because sometimes, sometimes we elevate where they are. You know what I'm saying? They out here researching and finding stuff because I'm like this. I'm quite sure that if we were to take some of our young people that's in these schools, you know what I'm saying? We take some of these retirees that have some of the technical skills. I'm quite sure they come up with something to battle this, right? We have, we have, we don't have the, how can I put it? We don't have the finances, but we have the people that we can start working with to get them working on stuff, Right? I mean, because if you think about it, if, if you look at uh, uh, Carter, the scientist, uh, George Washington Carver, who went to Tuskegee with little or nothing, just the technical skills, just the skills, he was able to build a full-fledged laboratory. How many of us are letting our children experiment in our garages if we got them, or in an in the extra room, take stuff apart and start figuring it out? So there's ways, just like they, just like they are weaponizing and discovering stuff, we could be doing the same thing. And we'd be coming up with countermeasures for all that shit. Yeah, it's a possibility. I mean, but shit, how much other dangerous shit do we have in our houses? Do you got a microwave in your house? 
You understand what I'm saying? So it's like, boom, I'm like, boom, I'm caught in, in betwixt and between because, you know, 5G, they say it's going to be dangerous, but 5G is going to make it possible for me to be able to get information out to the people a lot faster. Right? Or well, we can always go, I mean, how effective do you think we'll be if we was to go back to a whispering campaign or go back to printed newsletters? You understand what I'm saying? So it's kind of like we in a we 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 in a rock in a hard place, and we got to be able we got to be able to kind of deal with some of that shit, family. You know what I'm saying? And, and like, boom, okay, five G, all right, boom. But when five G come, you don't have to get the phone. I will get it for you. You understand what I'm saying? And I'm gonna use it to 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 do all this stuff, right? Now, but then also because we go to Shamuka, Shamuka uh, mentioned what about the security, control, and safety of information? What what do we have the ability to, to um, secure, control, and um, make safe? What, what do we have that we could do that with in America? You understand? Because my, my, my piece is, one, family. While the internet is open, because I'm going to get to um, um, my sister Shamanka's piece in a second. While we have opportunity, we need to step in. And be and pull out what we can because this right now is hurting absolutely nobody. We got we got brilliant people like Kaba Kamene. We got brilliant people like Philip Shaw Mc um, Williams. We got Oba Tashaka. We got um, uh, Chika Kua. We got uh, uh, the brother that wrote uh, Tommy Curry, man that wrote um, um, Man Not. We got all this information that is available for us to. To, to, in a sense, edify ourselves, to strengthen ourselves, to increase our knowledge. All this stuff is on the web right now. And a lot of it, we just giving away for free. All we saying is, let's start an exchange. I create something, you find it interesting, you're willing to pay. You create something, I find it interesting, I'm willing to pay. Let's start the process of reciprocity, working in our community, why we have it. Rather than worry about when they come, because we already know they're going to come get it. They did the same shit with the land. They did, I mean, shit, we didn't even get the mule, and they still came and took the mules from motherfuckers. We got to understand, family. So now, we understand that they're coming, but what are we going to do with it until then? Are we going to get our war chest together? You understand what I'm saying? This glass been sitting up here for about three weeks. I ain't had nobody go and make a donation yet. Oh, we're going to start building a war chest. And people know, and you can see what I do on a regular basis. Look, we got a yearly, we got an annual camping trip. People know this. Nobody donates. I done had some of the information that uh, online for years. Nobody. We don't even, I'm just sitting up here, boom. I'm trying to find an audience that's saying, like, hey, let's exchange. I value what you have, Brother Hot Tim. Right? And I'm going to get it out to them as long as I can, as long as I can control the territory. And another aspect for going, let me go to the next question and, and, and talk about this real quick. Um, Shamanka, I know who you are. Oh, this, is, this, is my, this is my big sis. They have control of the internet. How do we maintain control and prevent Urugu from censoring and targeting folks? What about having denied access today or um, today? Um, what about having denied access today or over our information? The inventions are about control. Control of information and modes of distribution is needed. Is a needed discussion. Safety and security issues. Now, now, this is what I keep trying to tell people. Use it while we got it. I don't, I can't, I don't have crystal ball, I can't predict the future, but family, we need to use it while we got it. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. We have to use it while we got it. That's all I can say. That's all I can tell you. We have to use it while we got it. Right now, brother, uh, brother Phil has come up with this beautiful idea. Um, and we have it in process. We have it in motion, right? And like it's like boom. Why not use it while we can? Now, also, how do you maintain control 
and prevent Urugu from censoring and targeting folks. They're already censoring and targeting folks. Mm -hmm. Remember that. They're already censoring and targeting folks. Um, what about um, denying access to the information? They're already doing that. They're already doing that. We know this. They have control of the internet. We know this. But why we are able to use it, why not use it and get as many resources from it as we can? Maybe we could raise enough money, possibly if we start trading with each other, to do something. I don't know what. Because shit, you know, out of the out of the hundred and some odd trillion dollars in of, of wealth in America, we only got three percent of that. Well, let's say, let's say, yeah, it's somewhere around here. About three trillion out of a hundred trillion worth of wealth. You know what I'm saying? I, I, a little bit over a hundred trillion. We got about three trillion overall, so it's gonna be kind of hard. You know what I'm saying? But I'm saying why it's available, we need to use it. We need to use it, and we need to pump it out because they already control all the information. We a lot of us feel secure because we got those books. But what happens when they start putting the price on books? Uh, you know, you know, you can tell us who got a library, we'll give you a couple of thousand dollars. Niggas will be selling you out. You can't hide your books. If they want the information, they're going to get that shit. Believe that. But they're already, I mean, in many ways, in many cases, the reason the internet is not cut off right now is because of the fact that they know that a lot of people will not. It's, it, it's not a threat at this point in time. So why is not a threat? Why not? Why not establish it? And maybe possibly be able to build up to a point where we are able to protect what we have. How, Brother Hatem? First off, I told you already, some of our young people, we're trying to prepare for politics as well as some of the older people too. Politics, let me say this to you. A lot of y'all out there right now, that's, that's big on the economic tip. Economics is a gun. Got this from the Godfather. Economics is the gun. Politics is knowing who to point the gun at and when to pull the trigger. So, Economics without politics is basically like having an open community box that other people can raid whenever they want to. Politics provide the protection, protection for the economics. So what I'm saying is we have to really get our young people and ourselves involved in, in politics that are based on taking care of us. We got to get rid of a lot of this universal bullshit because it don't work for us. And what I'm trying to get people to understand is that when we start taking better care of ourselves, everybody else is going to be able to make a come up. Why? Because right now in American society, in many ways, we are at the bottom. We come up, everybody going to come up. Remember, remember, remember your boy? A rising tide lift all boats. And let's shit, let's make that shit work. Let's get the government, let's get, the, let's get in certain, because this... Because far as like reparations, I want y'all to think about this shit. I want y'all to think about this. Reparations is not just about money. It's about certain protections that will be guaranteed to our people. One of them possibly will be giving us a chunk of the internet. We're getting, you know what I'm saying? Um, getting some of these new radio signals that they're putting out. That only we could sell as a group of people. We, we sell that. We get the annual renting fee for that shit. As a group, in so many different ways and so many different um, uh, means, because a lot of y'all, I mean, a lot of y'all, when it comes to us in this battle, right, we're, we're looking at it and, and, and we got different views and we're not pulling them all together. Of course, they may need to be fighting. So we need to make sure that we're getting people prepared for that. Then we also need to get people ready for the confrontations of the mind. That's that politics and that legal battle. We also need to get people that got to know how with the money, you know what I'm saying, so that when money do come, we are able to do stuff. But yet and still, we still need them people with the politics to make sure that we keep the vultures and the parasites away from us, making it a penalty when they come in and do the stuff that we already know they've been doing. Come on, fam. It ain't hard. It ain't hard. It's not hard at all. But, hey. So I went through all those. I don't I don't think I don't think I have wow, that's all right now. But so right now we at 1044 
after 15 hours, I really want to thank everybody for the support. Um, you know, like and share. All right, like and share. So this has been Brother Hot Tim. We don't got no call. We got 117 likes. We got three dislikes. Mm, I wonder who. I hope I ain't. I probably pissed somebody off. But I ain't. Y'all ain't. Y'all ain't even seen me in my raw shit. I'm just being honest with y'all. Trying to keep it real. I'm trying to keep it real. Y'all ain't really seen me cut loose yet. So, um, family, I want to thank those of you that are taking time to see this now or to see it later. Um, we're going to get up off of here. We're going to get me an Ambrosia egg. Get Cleve over to where he need to be. Make sure you check out the e-course. GNJ is free. GNJ e-course. Dot com. We got the we have free G and J E course dot com. Alright, this is Brother Hot Tim. I want to thank each and every last one of you. And with that, I'm out. Peace.